Ladies and gentlemen, building a business from your home has never been easier. With platforms, Snapchat, TikTok, or even Pinterest, there are eyeballs realistically everywhere. Whether that's Pinterest, Snapchat, or anywhere, these people have spending power, which means essentially you could be making money from anywhere. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial or a guide on fully setting up your store, basically with the most upside. And before you sit here and scroll, just promise yourself Yourself to just sit through this video just because it is so value packed you cannot miss this finding a product but this isn't just any product we need to find a product that is essentially going to be selling well and that essentially people are going to be buying there are many ways to find this you could use many paid softwares such as pizza dropship io or even pp ads but in today's video since our budget is basically minimal we're going to be using a free method that i've normally used before and i have seen multiple people use and be successful with it so we're going to start this off by creating a brand new tiktok account and then i want you to search up hashtags such as tiktok maybe buy it trending products and amazon finds then i want you to engage with the following posts like share comment save and even click in their website and engage with their website add to cards basically initiate checkout but don't actually make the purchase after doing this for around 30 to 50 times every time you sit there and scroll through your tiktok for you page essentially every single video is going to be a dropshipping store which essentially will help us find a product that is not only trending but is currently working now for finding this product what i've done and what i've seen multiple people do is i want you to create a product list this could be through various products you found using the burner method which we're using right now or overall products you have found off tiktok from here i want you to slowly delete each one by one narrow it down to just one product that you think is going to do better than 99 percent the process through eliminating could either be their wow factors how long ago they've gone viral or either through the problem that they solve because essentially one product is going to be better than the other and essentially what you need to do is figure out how you're going to market it better than the other products a reminder i want you to stay away from products such as led lights led lamps bag crackers and fidget spinners these products are extremely outdated, and since we're going to be advertising on TikTok, this is nothing new to them, and they already know it's an ad because the previous videos containing this product have already been sold to. Finding a supplier. This is almost, if not as important as finding a excellent product to sell because essentially with no back end with no proper supplier what will basically take happen and take place is your business will basically fall apart at any time your supplier can stop shipping out orders which means your business will fail this leads me to actually another point suppliers such as aliexpress are a dropshipper's worst nightmare long shipping times poor quality of product and overall a bad customer experience if you're looking for a quick way to to essentially make money and you don't care about scaling or actually having longevity with a brand sure you can use aliexpress but if you're looking to hold a brand or even have a brand going or a store up and running for longer than two to three months you need to switch over to a good supplier because your supplier is almost like the back end of a business with no good supplier you cannot run a business because essentially who is going to be shipping out your orders let me ask you something why do you think companies such as amazon young la or even gymshark focus on one getting their product from a to b with the most efficient timing but two they make sure that when their product is delivered that it is in the best shape or form possible this is because if they were to do this at the level that they're at they wouldn't be at their level you cannot scale you cannot even grow a business if your product and your whole business is shit now you're probably sitting here and wondering Tristan, which supplier are we going to be actually switching to? And the answer is Zendrop. Well, I've used Zendrop in the past and they've actually been extremely useful. They're fast, product costs are cheap, and it is very to use for beginners, which you are probably watching. But when you do end up scaling, whether that's of course you have a clothing brand, or it's through a product, you essentially need to move to a private supplier. But in order to do this, majority of them need a minimum order count. When setting up our store, we'll be using Shopify's $1 a month plan as it is not only cheap, but you are building a business for the most minimal cost. Before we even do this, we need to name our website and name our brand. You can either use ChatGPT or AI or realistically any kind of software you want to use. But a quicker and even much better way is using a website called Nameless. From here, you can select the name of your business, you can type in keywords, and from there, 
you get an existing logo that has already been created with the name and well, it saves you time and you're already getting started on the actual website. To essentially save you time, look at other competitors in your niche. There is absolutely no reason to reinvent the wheel when you can just go out there and see what is working and simply add your own twists and make it work for yourself. If you want a full video of me going in step by step, building a website from A to Z, importing the product and setting up the website for as little as possible, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video. Marketing and finally advertising your product. You want to start off by creating the Instagram and TikTok accounts for your store and brand. Keep in mind, when creating your brand and username, you want to make sure that there are no commas, periods, or even dashes. This will make your page look scammy and will literally notify people you are a dropshipper. Now you're probably asking, can I leave my bio blank? And the answer is no. The three things you want to put into your bio is a sale. You want to incentivize people to go into your website, whether that's a 50% off deal or telling people there's a two for one deal going on. You want to craft your offer. This could be either by saying free shipping with all orders, 50% off all orders above 100. What you are doing here is basically crafting an irresistible offer, leading people with no choice but to check out your website. And from there, it is basically on you that once people are on your website, to basically make it invert. When you're under a thousand followers, you cannot have the link in your bio. But what you can do is you want to leave enough space in your bio so where you can display your store name so that people, if they see your video and they still want to make a purchase, they can just go and copy and paste it into Google and well, you might have just gotten your first sale. Now, when it comes out to actually making content, what I've actually found to be most effective with essentially starting zero dollars is ordering the product and having it at your house. Now, you can go online and steal other people's content, but it's not going to do you well as TikTok knows when you're stealing other people's content and it is just not good for your brand. Now, some things to keep in mind when actually posting with your product is you need to hook your audience in the first three to five seconds. This could be by saying something like women's products are better than men's or by calling out the audience itself. What this does after scrolling mindlessly video after video, when your video essentially comes up on the for you page and you're there either creating controversy or hooking them around right away, they're going to be clicked and probably watch your video. And number two is when you're posting, you want to create controversy. You could either call out a specific age, group, or demographic, or even audience. You essentially want to make people comment on your post so that TikTok knows your post is engaging. And what they will do is they will push your content out to much more people. And just in adding in another point, you want to have quick transitions, especially with TikTok nowadays, people's dopamine levels and attention spans are so low. You need to refresh the consumer's brain every one to two, even three seconds with light colors, text, or even keep them tapped into your video. Now a posting strategy. I have a saying, each post is essentially a lottery ticket to winning the lottery. It only realistically takes you one video to blow up. And from there, your account is getting millions of views per day. You're generating sales and well, you've made your first $1,000. You need to be posting at the most minimum five times per day. As you post more on TikTok and as you push out high quality content and your overall TikTok account health goes up. You also want to be using viral TikTok audios. What this essentially does for your business is this allows your video to be pushed out to more people. Think of it as this. If there's there's an audio trending on TikTok. People scrolling through that TikTok audio will eventually see your video, click on it, and that could lead to more sales. But overall, the more trendy audios, overall pushing your content out more, and allowing you to go viral. Congratulations, you've probably just gotten your first sale dropshipping. Now you're probably asking Tristan, how do I ship out the orders without touching it? So with our suppliers end drop, they either have a paid option where these end drop workers will fulfill your order themselves. Or in our case, it is a free option where what you basically have to do is go into Shopify, get the user's information and fulfill the order yourself in the end drop website and get the order shipped out. Now that you're an experienced TikTok dropshipper with basically zero dollars, the only thing left is running paid ads and scaling your brand horizontally. This could be through more platforms, creating more accounts, or starting to work with much more influencers to overall promote your brand. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more type of this content, drop a comment down below. And well, it's been Tristan Robinson, and I hope to see you again in the next one.